Hey, what's up, bro? I thought I'd let you know about my hometown, Sioux City, bro. It's amazing. Actually, no, it's a pure shithole, bro. But I grew up here, and I'm still here for now. Now, to be honest, if you want to stay out of trouble, if you just want to work a regular boring ass job, bro, for the most part, it's for you, bro. And there's benefits to it, bro. A lot of the shit that's going on in our country right now is not really affecting this place. No. Straight up. Coronavirus, bro. Like, if I didn't watch the TV, I wouldn't think all this shit in the world was going on, bro. And it really isn't for me. And for you, if you look inward, you're going to have to sooner or later, bro. Straight up, bro. But that's pretty bad, though, if you want to be something, bro. You go downtown, there's bums walking around, people sleeping on the ground, asking for money, coming up to you, bro. There's a place called Select Mart, bro. Downtown. And it looks like you're in a fucking part of Los Angeles, bro. Fucking bums. Just a bunch of idiots, bro. It's like a magnet for negative energy, bro. I don't fuck with it. I don't like it at all no more. I did. I was sucked into it for a while. When I realized no one gave a fuck about me or wanted me, bro, I said, okay, bro. I'm going to just do me. And thank God no one still wants to fuck with me. I realize people are hating your success, bro. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I need to get my shit done. I got to get my shit together, bro. Sioux City, bro. We have like actual fucking abandoned building downtown, bro. This place only has 80,000 last time I checked. And an abandoned apartment building downtown as well. A bunch of abandoned buildings. They're starting to renovate it, but it looks the same, bro. No one gives a fuck here. This place is one of the worst places to grow spiritually, bro. It's a vortex. Bunch of people, bro. Everyone sleeps with each other, bro. I was like, God damn, what the fuck? It's crazy, bro. Who you know? You think you know here? Even the place I work at is a bunch of fucking idiots, bro. I don't really care. I'll be leaving that place soon enough anyway. But hey, shit. I gotta do some other things in the meantime. I actually looked at myself in the mirror the other day, bro, and I was actually glowing right now, bro. My skin's a lot smoother than it was, bro. So that's that. I got my black seed oil right here, bro. I got my rose quartz right here, bro. I got my my oil, my like my lotion right there, bro. And I'm chilling, bro. I straight up and chilling. It's gonna get to a point where I don't even want to go be even anyone near my past, bro. Straight up, bro. What do they got to offer me? Nothing, bro. That's all right, bro. Shit, gotta move on, bro. Ain't no one care about you, but yourself. No cap, bro. No cap. But hey, podcast on the way soon, bro. We're getting it, bro. The last thing I'm about to say about this place is I'm going <clears> to <throat> take a tour, bro. Probably downtown. Just show you some of the shit we have in this city, bro. Because it's ridiculous, bro. And these government officials in our town don't go fuck. No, they never will, bro. They don't care about the people, bro. They don't stop the fucking crime and try to rehabilitate the people. They want this shit, bro. They want us to destroy ourselves. And I'm not going to make a change for it, you guys. You got to do it, bro. Straight up, bro. But yeah, I love you guys, bro. Peace.